So we're putting the shoe on the other foot. Usually it's the scrum masters welcoming you to our YouTube channel or to our videos. But today, haha, as product owner, I'm going to welcome our scrum masters to a conversation with me, Diane Leonard, president of DH Leonard Consulting. And with me, we've got Megan, who is our scrum master for the marketing and training team. And we've got Bethany, who's our scrum master for our writing team. Thanks for being willing to answer a few questions with me today. Of course. You know, I love Scrum. I love Agile. Mm -hmm. I love Scrum. I love grant writing too. That was my first love. Agile and Scrum, my second love. And people say, Scrum Masters, why do nonprofits need Scrum Masters? Why do Scrum Masters help teams move forward in a faster and happier way? And so I thought, well, let's ask the Scrum Masters, right? Why should I be the one to answer? So... Meg, what is it that you enjoy about the role of Scrum Master? You know, it's, it's an easy and hard question because there's just so much to the role. Um, as an introvert myself, um, I have loved the Scrum framework and becoming a uh, Scrum Master because it has kind of given me... Um, a little foot out of my shell, I guess, um, because, you know, as the Scrum Master, you're protecting your team. Um, you're working with the product owner to make sure that you know exactly what the team needs to be working on and what the product at the end of the week or your sprint um, needs to be. Um, so you do have to kind of step into that, you know, not a management role, but, um, you know, you're facilitating um, the events that happen throughout that sprint. Um, so it, you know, it gives you that structure um, that I absolutely love. And, you know, I get to work with the other scrum masters, Bethany, <laughs> and, you know, you have fun with it. Um, it definitely helps with the organization that I absolutely love. Um, there's nothing like taking a sticky and moving it over to Sean <laughs> out of the to-do list. <laughs> so I think um, it's definitely, you know, helped me in, not only a you know business standpoint, but a personal standpoint also. That's awesome. <laughs> and I think right, it's you really get to put your personality to being a scrum master, mm -hmm. right? Framework rules, yep. and like you have your own playbook. And so I love everything you just shared and having watched you grow in the role and then become a licensed scrum master. I'm like, yes, all those things. Hello, surprise, I'm an introvert too, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But so I'm fascinating then to hear, Bethany, what do you like about being a Scrum Master? Okay, well, my answer is a little different than Meg's, even though I resonate with a lot of things she said. <laughs> but I really think my favorite part is helping to build the organizational culture of the team. Um, I just, I was a communications major in college, so this <laughs> interpersonal so that's small groups of people, which is exactly what a scrum team is. And so I just love being able to build that, the team dynamics and help them figure out what we want to do, how we want to do it, um, and just be part of the team. And so I actually brought some props to talk about how the writing team <laughs> builds our um, culture. One thing is I had a friend send me this calendar every day. It's one of those silly things of what day it is. We're recording on pink flamingo day <laughs> but you know what we've had great conversations because of this because i'll come on every morning in a daily scrum and say guess what day it is and you know what we learned about how much we all used to roller skate one day or we've learned how much we all like ice cream because of it things that have built the culture another cultural thing we've done and you're seeing this around everywhere is we ring our smiley face bell <laughs> when when we submit applications, when applications are awarded, sometimes just as a pick me up, if you you know need a little bit of a pick me up, you did a good job. We like to ring our bell together. <laughs> That's awesome, and two very different perspectives, but from the same role. And you're really helping both of your teams to create amazing changes and impact for those that we train, for those that we write for. I mean, I think that what it's provided in terms of client happiness, right? We're always focused about team happiness and velocity, but what we're seeing for dollars raised, uh, you know, knowledge gain and the happiness of the clients as well with what that looks like and really 
reducing their stress level related to anything mm -hmm. rants. Yes. Yeah. I think that you both are knocking it out of the park with your work at Scrum Masters. And so I'm so grateful that you've taken a minute to share with me and well, all the other viewers, why it <laughs> is that you enjoy Scrum Master. And I hope it gives some inspiration for what that looks like, what it could sound like, why someone else will enjoy the role mm -hmm. just as much as you do, because it's not necessarily about your title. Neither of you have a title that says Scrum Master, right? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's one of your job duties. And in a nonprofit, that's really common that it's not going to say Scrum Master is their job title. They're going to do mm -hmm. other things, right? They're going to wear other hats. And you both are wonderful examples of that. So thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>